Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Indian Navy has launched three ships this year which are Ballistic Missile Tracking INS Dhruv, Stealth Guided Missile Destroyer INS Visakhapatnam and INS Anvesh. We have seen commissioning of INS Karanj in March this year. Delivery of 11th P-Type Poseidon Induction of Romeo MH-60R helicopters and two ALH MK-3 helicopters into Indian Navy. The induction of all these platforms is a significant boost in the capabilities of Navy considering the challenges and threats posed by Beijing in blue waters. Now the new update is that India is all set to commission diesel attack submarine INS Vela soon. INS Vela is conventional diesel attack submarine without AIP system, but it does not mean that it is not capable. This submarine will have greater role to play in defending India's sovereignty. It will act as a sea denial as well as access denial to the adversaries. INS Vela is fourth submarine of the first batch of six Calvary class submarine for the Indian Navy. It is based on the Scorpion class designed by the French Naval Defence and Energy Group DCNS and manufactured by Mazgaon Dock Limited. The ship was launched on 6 May 2019 and is in its sea trial and is expected to be commissioned within this year mostly by last week of November or first week of December. The first such submarine of this class, INS Calvary, was launched in October 2015 and commissioned in December 2017. 5 years behind the schedule. The second, INS Khanderi was launched in January 2017 for sea trials and commissioned in September 2019. The third, INS Karanj was launched in January 2018 for sea trials and commissioned in March 2021. The fourth, INS Vela was launched in May 2019 and will be commissioned soon. The fifth, INS Vagil was launched in November 2020 and is also undergoing sea trials. The sixth submarine INS Vakshir is at the stage of outfitting and is expected to be launched by 2021 and commissioned between 2022 and 2023. INS Vela is potent of war, capable of undertaking offensive operations spanning across the entire spectrum of maritime warfare. She embodies cutting edge technology and can compete with the best in the world. She has an overall 67.5 meters length, height of 12.3 meters, and has submerged displacement of 1,775 tons. The submarine has an operation cycle of 240 days a year and endurance to carry 50 days patrol to ensure maximum utilization. She has submerged range of 1,020 km at a speed of 4 knots. She can complement crew of 8 officers and 35 sailors. Each ship is powered by 4 MTU 12V diesel engines, has 360 battery cells for power and has a silent permanently magnetized propulsion motor. The hull, fin and hydroplanes are designed for minimum underwater resistance and all equipped inside the pressure hull is mounted on shock absorbing cradles for enhanced stealth. A special steel was used in its construction which has high tensile strength capable of withstanding high yield stress and hydrostatic force. There are also plans to queue the Calvary class submarines with DRDO's state-of-art fuel cell based AIP system during its midlife upgrade. Talking about the countermeasure systems and armaments, INS Vela undersea warfare capability comprises a cluster of advanced weapons and sensors integrated into submarine tactical integrated combat system subtex. The sonar suite is low frequency analysis and ranging low far capable of enabling long range detection and classification. Post classification, she may choose to engage the enemy by utilizing either the sea scheming SM 39 Exosat missiles or the heavy weight wire guided surface and underwater target torpedoes. She can launch 6 search missiles and storage for 18 missiles and 30 mines. And for self defense, she is fitted with mobile C-303S anti-torpedo decoys. The boats, attack and search periscopes are equipped with infrared low-light level cameras and laser range finders. 
Ines Vela has highly advanced combat management system and a sophisticated integrated platform management system. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.